In today's video, we are going to talk about the coming soon page. And this is a page that you will only use if you are in the process of preparing your store and you want to launch your brand, you didn't launch yet, you're still working on your store. And you want people who go to your domain name or to your brand uh, URL to see a page where they can know a little bit more about the brand. Maybe they can sign up uh, to your newsletter so they get notified once you launch your brand. This is the only scenario where you are going to use this page actually. And you can make this page as fancy as you want, depending on the theme that you are using. So let's move to Shopify to see where do you find this page and how you can modify it. So from your Shopify dashboard, I need you to go to online store themes and you click on customize. This is a store that's not yet launched. We are still preparing it. So basically if someone lands on your, on this store, they shouldn't be able to check the products or the homepage or anything. They should be able just to see a coming soon page. Uh, if you preview the store, if I go in here back one second and I click on view, so I will copy it and go to an incognito mode because this is the case when someone doesn't have like a Shopify access, so a normal customer. So as you can see, when someone goes to this store before it's live, they will be seeing this page with a coming soon message and in here a box for them to sign up and to get notified once the store is published. So how did we design this page and how we can design a page like this, or maybe even make it fancier, more complicated, more sophisticated. So let's go back to Shopify. And from here, I need to click on customize. And from customize, you go in here to your password page. Okay, so every store on Shopify uh, can be password protected even after it's being launched. And in order to remove that, that password or to keep it, you just get, need to go back in here to preferences under online store. And you will see like in here a section for the password where you can remove or modify the password. So when the store is password protected, people are going to see the coming soon page. Okay, going back to our coming soon page from here, we will go to password then. And this is the page that our customers are seeing. As you can see, there is no header in here. There is no footer, only these sections. So in here, we have added two sections. The default page of this team was mainly like, uh, has mainly this section only. If like, this is, I think the focal theme, yes. And by default, it has only this section, but we added an image with a message. So to build a page like this one, simply you need to start like from scratch. So by default, you will have this section, which is the password uh, section and depending on the theme you are using you will see in here different options okay so some themes will be providing different options than other themes we are using the focal theme so these are the options that you will find with this section so uh, for this section you can add the logo in here you can change the width you can add an image for the background so we are basically changing this section you can add an image if you wish and you can change the text and in here you can change the colors of the uh, button we have added some special CSS because, because we wanted to change the um, text in here. If you don't know anything about CSS, don't worry, just skip it. And we have added this section here, which is image with text overlay. But let's say we want to add something else. So let's try to start this page from scratch to give you an idea about how everything should work. So I'm going to remove this section, basically. And I'm going to uh, go back in here. I will remove everything. Okay, so this is the default setting. So this is how people were going to see this page if we didn't change anything on it. So we have a heading in here, we have the logo. So by default in here, most people would be putting, for example, coming soon. So most of probably this is what you are seeing from your theme, a section with let's just, let's say just a, a field to fill out the email, a button and that's it. If you want to change this and you want to add more to it, okay, you can start by adding more sections in here. So as you can see, for example, you can add an image with text, you can add a slideshow, you can basically add everything, okay? In our case, for example, we decided to add an image with text overlay, so that's what we have done. We've added an image and we chosen a background for this image, so we went in here and we've decided to add this image in here. And what we have simply done is we changed the subheading and heading in here. So we put as heading coming soon. And above we put the brand name. And you can here add a certain text if you wish, it's up to you. 
or you can remove it. You can add even a button in here if you wish. But again, I like to have always this field in order to fill out, like to allow my customers to fill out their personal information in order to like gather their emails, which is something is going to be important for me in the future when I launch the brand. Okay, one more thing that you can do actually is that you can remove the full password section if you don't want anyone to like ever um, use this section because if you keep it on people who has the password who have the password will be able to enter using the password so if you have team members or if there are several people who are working on the store and they are previewing it they would need the password in order to preview it on different devices but if you don't want this you can simply like hide it and you can add a section for example uh, in here that uh, talk about your brand or you can even add a newsletter section so a section to like gather your customers information but from a different style because if you notice for example the difference between this section and this section you will notice that in this section you have like the enter using password you have this store is powered by Shopify you can even like log in if you are a store owner so if you don't want any of these to show you can simply use a newsletter section like this one just add a background for it in here for example and you can here manage the text so instead of putting like a sign up you put for example coming soon sign up to be notified and so on okay this is also a way to do it as i said before you can add as many sections as you want but by clicking here and working on these sections simply as the same way that you modify any page on your Shopify store, you do that. One more thing that I want to talk about in here is that many people like to, uh, for this section in here, to hide, for example, the store is powered by Shopify or to hide any of these parts. And this is where you can use this section here, which is the custom CSS. As you recall, I have something in here, a code in here. I'm gonna refresh, so I have the original page. Uh, as you remember, like I have a code in here and this code was changing mainly the CSS. So the CSS is everything that's related to the appearance. I know that this might be a totally new concept for you, uh, but for basically like just removing the copyright by Shopify, this is the code that we used. I'm going to remove it just to show you. So it's now showing when I add this one. So it's password copyright display on. It's super simple, it just take one second to remove it. Okay, so in here just we added some CSS because we wanted to change the font of this title, we wanted to change a little bit the spacing, so we've added CSS in here for it, but that's it. Okay, again, if you are building your page, you can go in here, click on section, and add any of these sections. Maybe you would decide to add a gallery, so you can add a gallery, for example, and show all the images in here. Or maybe you want to add, for example, a rich text where you talk more about the brand so you add a rich text section and whatever you're doing in here is going to be reflected on your website url as long as your store is password protected your customers are going to see the coming soon page they are not going to see your home page so uh, going back in here one more time if we go to password as i told you this is the page that my customers are going to see okay so you add a section any section let's say for example we're adding a gallery okay i will be adding images in here so let's say i will add this one and i will go back and add another one in here and i will add another one in here i think the type of sections that you can add in here are limited mainly you need to add sections like talking about the brand or showing that the upcoming uh, products but again feel free to be as creative as you want. So by adding this section now, if I save and I preview this store again, I will be seeing this. So if I click preview and I go to an incognito mode for sure, you will see that now I have this new section in here. Okay, so adding a gallery section or a rich text section most probably will help you to like tell your potential customers, your future potential customers, more about your brand and the products that you are selling. Once you finish your job, you just need to save. And don't forget, before launching your store, you need to make sure that you have removed the password protections from in here, from your preferences, in order to make sure that anyone can see and access your store.